Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Zoho Desk, which is a help desk software that you can use in your small business. This is allowing you to get in communication with your customers, provide a knowledge base and answer those support tickets that your customers need for their help. Of course, this is a help desk software. Now it is not free, although they do have a free trial version. Uh, it is still one of the most affordable help desks on the market. And it is a really powerful customer service tool that you can use in your small business. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a beginner's overview and tutorial of how to use Zoho Desk for beginners. It's a very simple overview, just taking a look at what Zoho has to offer when it comes to their customer service software, when it comes to building out a simple ticketing system, knowledge base, as well as various different support channels that Zoho Desk has to offer. And before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you want to check out Zoho Desk or follow along, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennaveleski.com forward slash Zoho dash desk. And we'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with Zoho Desk today. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Of course, be sure to smash that like button and let's get into things. So of course, as a brief overview of what Zoho Desk is, as you can see here, it is a customer service based software. Now they have a variety of different tools within Zoho Desk that allow you to, uh, as you can see here, power faster issue resolution. So getting those customer tickets answered and solved, as well as tracking and viewing uh, the customer retention rates, enhancing overall uh, customer happiness. As you can see here, uh, a lot of different businesses do use Zoho Desk. As you can see, you can also utilize some AI tools that they have built in here too as well. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but you can if you want to. Uh, they do have that built in as well. As you can see, you can set up uh, customer sentiment and see sort of like what is the overall process of Zoho Desk, what does it look like? Uh, and, you know, being able to answer those customer inquiries as they come in and to provide proper support uh, in your business, reduce the overall unhappiness time, right? Getting those customers uh, responded to when it comes to customer service. Now, in terms of all the different integrations, they do have a lot of integrations if you do need those within Zoho Desk as well. Um, now, quickly taking a look at pricing in just a second, they do also have a mobile app too if you do want to use that as well well. Uh, but taking a look at pricing now, of course, pricing is always subject to change depending on when you're watching this video. Be sure to check out Zoho Desk pricing page to get the most realistic and up-to-date pricing. I always just have to say that disclaimer because pricing always is changing, but they do have a free trial version that you can use. I believe maybe back in the day they used to have a completely free version. They do not have the completely free version anymore. Um, the standard plan starts at 14 per month billed annually, uh, and this is on the yearly plan. So if you're paying monthly, it would be $20 uh, versus yearly, you do save a little bit. So it just depends if you want to go monthly or annual billing. Uh, and they have the standard professional and enterprise level plan. Now for most larger businesses, you're probably going to want like the enterprise level plan. But if you're just a beginner, um, then the standard plan could work just fine for you. They do limit it uh, to one feedback widget, like one sort of system more or less uh, and one you know this is on a per user per month as well so do keep that in mind if you have a lot of different you know maybe support agents and things like that however they do also have a uh, zoho desk express starting at just that seven dollars uh, per month. So that's just more basic for, you know, if you just need a simple ticketing system for, you know, individual businesses or smaller teams looking to automate some of the customer service needs, that would be for ticketing, social media, and analytics. Uh, and it is limited to five users, but that is the cheapest version. Now, if you really, 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 really need minimal support needs, I guess they actually do still have a very basic free plan, uh, down here. If you click here, um, yeah, they do have a very basic, basic free plan. So you can check that out as well. Um, but I'm going to be showing you sort of more of the overall features within Zoho Desk, everything it has to offer. And then I would recommend, you know, check out the link below and you can kind of test things out for yourself to see like what you may or may not need, um, depending on your business needs and the overall size of your team. Uh, in terms of the full comparison here on the free version, just to give you that basic overview here, again, I'm going to be taking a look at more of all the different tools as a whole in this video, taking a look at the back end in just a moment, I will be logging in to Zoho Desk to show you what it looks like on the inside. Uh, but I, and that will be more of a general overview of everything it has to offer. But on the free version, uh, it is limited to three free agents, 
right? So they, they still do have that free version. Uh, they allow you to do the basic level ticket management. So you can do up to 10 ticket tags. You can do uh, email tickets, commenting on tickets. So you can still do some basic ticketing. Uh, but in terms of a lot of the more advanced features, uh, you know, some of the other features that, you know, Express Standard Professional Enterprise have, you know, those are obviously uh, paid tools, as you can see here, something like real-time collaboration is not available on the free plan or the express plan. Uh, if you are going to be doing more than just email, that's also not really uh, available if you're trying to do social media or instant messaging as well. Uh, if you, you know, that's something else. If you want instant messaging and live chat, you do have to go up to the standard plan. Um, but you do at least get basic email support ticketing, which can be nice. And you do get a little bit of automation, at least with some of the macros uh, that you can set up. So you do get a little bit here with the free version. Uh, again, worth diving in and just honestly just giving it a test out for yourself if you do want to see what that looks like. But it is more just the basic email ticketing. You don't get live chat you don't get all those other features um, that i'm going to be showing you here in this video today so taking a look at the zoho back end this is on the 15 day trial period of their higher level plan uh, to give you that overview but even on the free version you do still get access to this simple ticketing system so this is what zoho desk looks like on the inside uh, you have the tickets section we're going to be taking a look at that first and showing you what that sort of looks like and then i'll be going through the other tabs in just a moment um, but this is a dummy ticket that they have here built out and again this would be available on the free version, just basic email support uh, tickets, which can help you keep track of things instead of just using like a general support email, actually using a proper ticketing system can save you a lot of time, effort and energy. Um, and just to keep better track of things, it looks more professional um, when things go through a proper ticketing system, things won't get as lost. Like if you just do it through regular email, sometimes things get lost doing things through an actual system like Zoho help desk or Zoho desk could help you, you know, keep track of everything. You can add, um, obviously you have phone numbers, you have customer data. This is just a dummy contact info. Uh, you have a conversation resolution. You also have, uh, you can set timers and things like that too, uh, to see like how much time you're spending maybe on, on a lot of these different replies and things. Uh, you can reply to just that person, just like a regular email inbox would be. You can reply all, reply to a single person, uh, go through here, uh, see what the resolution is, like add a, a proper resolution. You can do the time entries. You have attachments you can add, uh, overall activity approval and the overall like history of the timestamps of when things were sent through on those conversations. And that's so, so that's basically what their ticketing system looks like. You have them over here on the left, you have open, uh, you can set things to on hold, escalated or closed. So you can really uh, manage everything sort of like how you would with a traditional CRM platform almost in a way where you can really like set statuses and really keep track of things almost like more like a project management tool as well. Uh, but really just as a help desk, obviously that's what this tool is built for. Uh, if we continue past the ticketing systems, so that's essentially what that ticket system looks like. You also have an agent queue. Uh, so, you know, if you have one due in six hours, you can also move things like over time. If it's past that mark, it'll go to overdue, due in an hour, you know, you can, kind of manage things like a Kanban board here. Uh, you also have the team queue. This is if you have multiple different staff members, then you can have a queue there. You can see the overall uh, feed too, if you need to like notify anybody. Uh, most people might not necessarily need that tool, but uh, moving along as far as tickets, that's what that looks like. Again, that is available on the free version, just a simple email ticketing system uh, and being able to view things like that. Uh, you can also change the views here. If you have classic view, uh, compact view, table view, if you prefer, uh, different sort of looks and feels to the way that things look. So lots of settings there that you can play around with. Now, next, you also have the knowledge base. Now, this is something super critical, honestly, to any kind of customer support system. Or if you run a uh, software as a service company or an e-commerce company, if you have a knowledge base, mostly this is pretty common with like software as a service based companies because there tend to be a lot more questions and problems or uh, things like that with software than maybe some other types of businesses where you would need to be providing that customer support. Uh, but a knowledge base is essentially where you can write out articles and, and provide uh, text-based information and help on your own website, which can eliminate or completely or, you know, 
far reduce the total amount of customer inquiries that you get uh, coming into your help desk. So this can help you overall, helps the re helps the users. Uh, just building these out can save you a lot of those unnecessary tickets that you just get the same questions over and over again. And if you do tend to get the same questions over and over again, it's not like too, you know, specific to the customer, you could just go and then also add to this knowledge base over time, uh, certain things that people may need to do or to be aware of, or like just anything that they would have questions about that you might get through tickets, you can then add to the knowledge base over time. Uh, so what you can do is you can go ahead and click here and start writing and you can easily add in um, these articles. Now these are essentially um, articles that go on your websites, uh, your website for the knowledge base. And they even can rank in Google as well. If people are searching, so that could be a way to get some, maybe some extra traffic to your business as well, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can publish these articles, you know, really just to help people, uh, and to provide additional information about, uh, questions that are common in your business. Like, how long is shipping time or something like that? You know, you could do that. How long is shipping time? Uh, and then you go ahead and say like our standard shipping time is, you know, 10, 10 to 15 days or something like that. Uh, and then provide, you know, the information and, you know, go from there. 10 to 15 days. You might want to write that out as number, but we're just going to say that. And then what you can do is click publish. And you can see they also give you a like or dislike button so people can uh, comment as to if this is useful for them uh, and, you know, view this on the knowledge base. You know, you can uh, post as many things as you want and you can see like who created this on the knowledge base, if it's helpful, not helpful. Um, users can submit feedback, which is really useful as well um, for trying to keep track of things that, hey, it's actually like useful or not great. And you can just continue to build out your knowledge base here, uh, which can help you uh, just eliminate the total amount of support tickets that you get run through and just help you overall uh, as well. You can also download it as a PDF or publish it or unpublish it if you wanted to get rid of it. Uh, but that's essentially what it would look like. Um, now you can make this either just visible to agents or you can make it also visible uh, to anyone. So. If we go in and edit it here um, under display permission, it would be agents only, registered users. You can put all users. Uh, so it'd be anybody that would go to that page. Um, and then we can preview this here, go ahead and publish it. And then it will automatically update. And so all users can see it uh, and they can leave comments on it too. Uh, so you can kind of get a, a good feel for your knowledge base and overall you can just like keep building that out over time uh, within here too. This can also be maybe just a place for internal information too. Uh, if you needed to provide like, hey, how do I answer a certain ticket? You could keep it just for agents and then have like some pre-written sort of responses for things. Um, so you can use this both internally or for customers as well. Um, so it's a good place just to dump information and save it there. Um, in your business. Moving along, you also have the contract section, which can allow you to um, agree upon like services. If you are going to be creating contracts for your customers, I get most people probably aren't necessarily doing that, but they do have that feature in here. If you do need to do that, uh, where you're providing like a certain service based on the customer uh, request, you can also view uh, overall contacts, obviously your customer data. So you can see their email name, um, and all that here, you can see how many tickets they've, uh, submitted if they have some open tickets. So you can easily check on people uh, and kind of see overall activities in there. You also have your analytics section, which you can see the overall amount of tickets that are new on hold, closed, or in the current backlog. You can see uh, traffic an analysis, whether it's through email or maybe through some other channels and tickets that you have. You can see overall first response time, uh, resolution time, how long it takes to get through tickets, the time of day as well in the last like 24 hours, how many tickets have you gotten? Um, so you can really keep a good pulse on your overall customer service uh, within Zoho Desk. Uh, you also have the activities, which you can kind of see like calls, uh, tasks, things like that if you have them logged in here. Uh, you also have a community tab, uh, which can allow you to, you know, 
it's more like a forum almost in a way, kind of different from the knowledge base. Uh, you have the social tab, so you can connect uh, to social media accounts. If you are on some of the higher level plans, uh, it'll allow you to connect to things like Facebook, X, Instagram, and then help you know link your help desk directly to social media, uh, which can just uh, provide you some more data and information as well, because then you'll see like, where did this ticket come from? Oh, it was from Instagram. Okay, cool. And you have that data on your end. You can also set up a live chat system as well. So you can set up live chat as well as the uh, instant messaging. So this is sort of what would come in uh, from the Instagram. Like if you had an Instagram DM, you can link it here so that you would get Instagram, Facebook Messenger, uh, maybe a WhatsApp line, WeChat, depending on where your business is located, depending on where you get customers uh, contacting you, this can create one platform uh, to engage all the different types of customers within your business. Again, if you are paying for those, you know, at least the standard level plan for Zoho, Help Desk would get you the ability to do the instant messaging uh, features where, you know, that can help consolidate things. So you're not like answering DMS on a million different platforms and trying to keep track of like, Oh, did I reply to this or that, or this or that, especially if you have a customer support agent, someone who's dedicated to this, this can really save them a lot of time and can help you keep track of like where conversations are coming from in your analytics. Uh, so that can be a really helpful feature uh, as well. But if you just need even just the basic email ticketing system on the free version, Zoho desk can also be good for you. Even if you don't need the knowledge base or any of these other more advanced features, like I outlined quickly in this video overview of Zoho desk can be still a good solution. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video going through, uh, essentially the basics of Zoho Desk and what it looks like. Again, if you do want to give Zoho Desk a try, uh, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. Again, that's brennavaleski.com forward slash Zoho Dash Desk. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with Zoho Desk for free today. Uh, and guys, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.